Okay, everybody, come on back in. Come on back in. I hope everybody is uh, able to get back on. This is driving me up a wall. And I tell you, you, it's driving me up a wall. But that's okay, because it goes along with what I have to say today. All right, come on in, everybody. Go ahead, like, and share, and invite, and do all of the good stuff while we go ahead and get this together. Uh, let's see. Just want to look at that. it. Mm -hmm. One moment. Oh, shoot. This is crazy. All right. Man, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. But you guys go ahead and share the video. Come on in. Come on in, everybody. Let's go ahead and get boosted for the afternoon. Um, some people are getting ready for um, Bible class on tonight. But in the meantime, I want you all to go ahead and um get boosted for the rest of the afternoon so that you all have some um something good to think about while you're going about your occupation while you're doing what you have to do for the day while you are um just going about your afternoon just to you know get things underway sometimes first thing in the morning your mind is not where it ought to be and you just try to cope and you deal and you do whatever it is that you have to do but by midday you could have lost it a little bit you know your your brain was probably overdone and fried by one by 12 o'clock and you needed something to just help you get through the second half of your day and that is why we are here on this afternoon we are trying to bless you with a lunchtime lifter as i stated before i am here to lift and boost you with the word of god for today and i'm going to do my level best to be consistent in coming in every day at one o'clock between monday and friday every day of the week monday through well every day of the work week monday through friday at one o'clock because that's my lunch time at one o'clock that has been scheduled on my job so um I'm going to try to give you all a consistent lunch booster, lunchtime booster. I see someone has joined in. I want you to go ahead and share if you can hear me because we had some issues yesterday. So if you can hear me, please give me some hearts and comments and something and let me know that you all are hearing. You hear what I'm saying. Okay. I'm going to give a few more minutes for people to come on in and, and um, invite and share and do all that good stuff. Okay. Come on in, come on in, everybody. Come on in. I don't see anybody on yet. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and tag again. I don't know if anybody got on or anybody did not see, but we're going to tag you in anyway. Let's try it one more time. See if everybody is on here. Anybody, everybody, come on in and let's get boosted on this afternoon. All right. Hey, Michelle, how are you, darling? I'm going to call you after this because I have some news for you. Okay, I love you so much. Thank you so much for joining. I don't see my number one supporter on here yet. I mean, my yeah, my number one supporter besides my children. But yeah, my niece, Mel, she is a supporter of our ministry beyond belief. And we just thank God for her. Um, we don't see her on here as of yet. Go ahead, Michelle, and invite people in. Can you hear me? Because I know yesterday we had a problem. So let me know if you can hear. Yeah, Mel. All right. I'm taking it that you can hear me then since you commented for Jamel to come on in. Fabulous, darling. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Um, go ahead and share. The... I don't know what happened to my paperwork. Hmm. Go ahead and share. Um, I'm going to be right back. I know it's kind of crazy and not exactly um, professional, but I'll be right back. I got to do something.
So you know how they say in school, talk amongst yourselves while the teacher steps out. Well, <laughs> I hope you all have done so. Woo, sorry, guys. I had to go get my paper. Any hooser. <laughs> All right, guys, on a serious tip, I just wanted to um, come on in here and, and boost you all today. I'm getting boosted myself because when I got this earlier today, I was like, last night, Lord, I need a word for your people and, and, and for myself. And I wasn't getting anything until this morning. And um, I said, oh, interesting. I would have never come up with this. But so you know, this is nothing but God. So I'm asking all of you, <laughs> I'm asking all of you to go ahead and pray with me as I, um, as I try to delve into this for our uh, lunchtime lifter. As you know, it's not going to take long. It's only going to be probably about 15 minutes because when I tried to get all this together, I was trying to work as well. Hey, Mel, my number one supporter besides my children. I love you so much. Thank you, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, but we're going to get into this really, really quickly and I pray that you all get something out of this. I'm sure you will because it just boosted my spirit so much this morning when I finally got this word. While I am praying, and I pray that you all come with me to the throne of grace, I am, um, you guys can look for the scripture, Colossians 1, 16, 17, and Psalms 139. 14. I'm going to go ahead and get pull those scriptures and then we're going to pray. Again, that's Psalm 139. Psalm. I'm so sorry. I keep saying Psalms. That is so ignorant. It is Psalm. <laughs> it's Psalm 139, verse 14. And then we're going to be in Colossians as well. Colossians 1, verses 16 and 17. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do want to thank you today for all that you have done for us thus far. We thank you for the for this first part of our day being so great and so mighty and so powerful, God. It is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We are so very glad that you allowed us another opportunity to be on the wake up list today. And we thank you, God, that you have blessed us thus far with blood running warm in our veins and the activity and use of our limbs, God. And we thank you, oh God, for we didn't have to have someone else to do our dressing and our washing and our, and just helping us along the, today to get us to the place where we needed to be in the, you know, in the first part of our day but we praise your name oh god that you have given us the ability to do these things on our own and we thank you for it and we ask you oh god as we boost ourselves and we lift you up in the process and get ourselves encouraged through your word god we ask you to anoint uh, anoint our lips oh god that we may be able to deliver this message in the time frame that is necessary to the, to get to your people for encouragement today. And we glorify you, we lift you up, and we praise your holy and righteous name. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, I do give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 139, 14. And I don't think it needs to be said in any different um um, in any sequence, but I'm going to go ahead and read this anyway. Psalm 139:14 says, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. In other words, we know, we know that you have created us and that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And y'all can go ahead and delve a little deeper in that 
um, later on in your in your leisure time. Colossians 1, 16 and 17 says, For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they are thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things are created by him and for him. And he is before all things and by him all things consists. And so I just wanted to give you a little bit of a lifter on today. You you know why we're here. We're asking that you go ahead and share and like and, and do all that is necessary so that you're not the only one um, being boosted today. But go ahead and share the video. Now, I just wanted to, I don't have one with me, but um, I was thinking today when I asked the Lord to give me something, the first thing dropped in my mind was a safety pin. A safety pin. You know what a safety pin is for, right? So a safety pin is there to hold things together. And when I thought about the use of a safety pin, because I use it a lot in my crochet because, you know, it, it, I need to mark certain rows and this sort of thing to um, get things together. But I thought about the safety pin. Now, you know, a safety pin comes in all different sizes. It comes in all different um, shapes. And it's for various reasons. Now, you can't use, if you know you've tried it in the past or you try it now, um, you can't use a big safety pin. You can, but it's going to be quite bulky if you try to use a safety pin for a thin piece of material. That's why they have certain materials. Thank you, Michelle. That's why you have certain, certain sizes of the safety pin for certain materials. Um, there are large safety pins, and they all come in certain sizes and stuff um, for quilting, for uh, thick denim materials, anything that is large or thick, you might want to use a larger safety pin to hold that together. Then they have the real little ones that may hold you know, just a tiny piece of material together. Or it may want to hold something like some silk or taffeta together, depending on the type of material. You know, you can't just throw a safety pin on a certain type of material because the pin head has to be a certain um, density. If you try to um, stick a safety pin on a certain type of material that is not conducive to that safety pin, you could pull the material out of its place. In other words, you stick it in and you might pull a thread out of place, which could unravel the whole row of that material. And some of you who sew or whatnot, you may understand that and you may know what I'm talking about. So safety pins hold things together and you have to have the right size of the safety pin in order for it to hold that thing together. Now, as I was doing a little bit of studying, I thought about the word aluminum. Aluminum is a molecular cell that holds things together in, and um, it's a cell within your body. And with that lamin laminin is what it's called, L-A-M-I-N-I-N. And what that does, it's a cell that is it within your body that will hold uh, the cells together. It's like the glue that holds it together. And if you look and do your research, you'll find that this aluminum is actually in the shape of a cross. Isn't that something? That aluminum cell will is like the glue that holds it together like a cross. And as we see in Psalm 39 and 14, where it says that we are 
fearfully and wonderfully made. It, uh, it reminds me of who God is. It lets us know that he is the one that has brought us all together. He is the one that keeps us and holds us in the time of our struggles. He is the one that keeps us when things don't seem like they're going well for us, when it looks like everything all around us is breaking up and falling apart. He is the glue that will hold us together. He is like that aluminum that will hold us together. And since that is on the inside of us, I thought, well, perhaps maybe we need to be looking at the outside sometimes. We have we go through our issues from the inside and it brings out what we are doing. In other words, sometimes you know your attitude will show forth in your in your situation when you're going through. I know I'm not the only one that when things don't look well and you don't want to hold it all in because I was told that if you don't let that out, it will destroy your insides. It will um, mess up what's going on. You could stroke out if you don't let things go. If you don't, um, if you don't release that pressure, it, it, it look at it as if it were um, a kettle of water being boil. That steam has got to release somewhere. That's why a kettle has a hole at the top of it where you put the water in and then the part that that you that pours out the water has a spout. And that spout, once that, te that steam comes up, will let out a whistle. Oh, I'm going someplace. Can you hear that? When you, when that water begins to overflow, then it begins to steam out and begins to whistle. Some of us have to release the steam and allow us to scream. Go into a closet. Go into your car. Go into the woods. Go somewhere and let out a large scream because we're going through some things that we can't handle by ourselves. And we need to let God know that we need his help. Oh, I know that's right. I know that is right. So when we're going through our situations and we have to allow ourselves to get through the situation, we need the help. We need God's help to see us safely through. Now, getting back to our safety pin, I wanted to go ahead and share with you that um, safety pins, again, come in various sizes for different things. The um, safety pin, as you may know, it has been created for that very purpose, to hold things together. And, you know, back in the day, they used to use those baby pins on cloth diapers for the babies when the babies were born. So when the, the, um, the, this long before they even made disposable diapers. So the safety pins were used to hold the, the baby's diaper on. Safety pins are used to hold things, um, your materials together. Have you ever been in the state like I've been in my life where you try to put your big body in something that is way too small? I can talk about me. I don't know about you, but I can certainly talk about me. I've been there. It's not a pretty sight. When you go ahead and put, put yourself in a pair of pants or you put yourself on a, a blouse or a jacket that doesn't seem to fit. You know, back in the day, and I know I'm talking fast, but I got to get out of here and get back to work. But um, back in the day when I was expecting and I didn't have my materials, you know, I didn't have my maternity clothes to wear, I would just go ahead and get a safety pin and put it in the loop of my pants and drag it across to with a string or something to hold in the um to hold my pants up until I was able to go ahead and get some maternity clothes. Sometimes you have to pull things together with something in order for it to hold up on you. Now with the safety pins, if you have a, a pair of denim jeans and they're starting to split and whatnot, they have created some jeans now where they have a bunch of safety pins. It's supposed to be some kind of a style, but it looks raggedy to me. But you you go ahead and you put these safety pins in 
and it pulls the materials together so that you will be able, like a rubber band, yes, like um, it'll pull that material together so that your flesh is not exposed to the world. And this is what happens when we go ahead and get our lives in order and we say we can't handle this anymore. So I need my God, the safety pin, to pull me together. Do you hear what I'm saying? You need God to pull your life together in order for you to continue on. Some people are going through something that is so so discouraging and so overwhelming that we don't know what else to do. But the psalmist said, "My when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. In other words, lead me to that safety pin that's going to help hold me together, that's going to pull everything that I'm going through together. It's going to help me to be able to pull it together when I feel like I want to just throw in the towel and be all put apart and just thrown apart in every way that I can. I need my safety pin, Jesus Christ, to pull me together. My emotions are all over the place, but I need my safety pin to pull me together. We don't want to lose as we go on through this life because the enemy's job is to destroy us. I don't know whether you know it or not, but the enemy is out there and he is not playing with none of us. These are the last days and the devil is going to try to destroy us even when we are, are, are focusing on doing the will of God. But because our emotions are all over the place and things are happening every day, folks are dying that have, have never died before. And those who have died before are now finding themselves standing before our almighty God, wondering if the videotape that has been played for their lives is going to allow them to walk on those streets of per of of gold and be able to get in those, those pearly gates. I don't know about you on today, but I want you to understand that Jesus is standing there as your safety pin to pull your life together. The Bible says that we are troubled on every hand and side, yet not distressed. Why? Because we have a safety pin. When we are overwhelmed and we need to be held and holding up our emotions together. Remember, you have a safety pin. Again, a safety pins are created and designed to pull it together. How many times have you felt like it's not going to work? I need a better way to get through what I'm going through. I'm about to bust by it out of my seams and things are just going haywire. Remember, you have a safety pin. His name is Jesus Christ and he is there to help you out. Remember, he is is the one, as Colossians said, that he has made us, he has created us for his glory. The Bible says he gave, he, he, um, he says that he is the key work of all things after the counsel of our own will. So when we are after a counsel of his own will, excuse me, so when we are going through our situation, we need that safety pin to pull us together, just like it pulls together the clothes that we put on that are too big or just like we need to cover up something and it's not work and we don't have the the needle and the thread or the the glue that's going to hold it together we can go and get a safety pin to pull it together until we can get to some needle and thread or some glue or or um some stretch tape or whatever we need to pull that together in the meantime but i want you to know on today that when you use your safety pin for the for the things that you are going through in your personal life to hold your mindset right, to hold your emotions in place, to do the things that you need to do and not fall apart by the works of the enemy because he wants to destroy us. He wants us to go crazy. He wants us to not do the things that we need to do. He doesn't want us to stay focused on him, but he wants us to completely fall apart. I encourage you today, go find your safety pin. Go find your safety pin. The Bible lets us know that he is there 
to help us out. Jesus is everywhere. He is an almighty God. He is omnipotent. He is everywhere. He is there to help you. He is there to assist you in your situations. He is there to strengthen you through your problems. You just know that your safety pin has been added to your life. Your safety pin, when you're going through, remember your safety pin. It says in the word of God, and I can tell you that he said, the Bible said that Jesus became flesh and the flesh dwelt among us and it was the word of God. So he is the word. So you go to your safety pit, the word of God, where you can say that when I am overwhelmed, I'm going to the rock. You can also say that when you get through your problems and your situations and you don't know what else to do, know that you can quote the scripture that says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. You can say that I am more than a conqueror through him that loves me. God is my refuge and my strength, a very present help in a time of trouble. Know that when you're going through, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And Jesus is the safety pin that's going to hold your life together, even in the most difficult times. You got what it takes. I told you yesterday, he got this. So whatever you're going through, he got this. And if you don't know how to go to him and ask him for that help, you just go down and pray and say, Lord, I, I need your help today. You know what I'm going through. You know how to handle this better than I can. That's your safety pin. He's going to pull you together when you start thinking on those things, hallelujah, that are, um, are, are the best things that are a part of your life. You know the scripture. Go ahead and look it up. That says that you have to look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. You can go to God and know that he is going to be able to help you through every situation. It is 201 and I have to get on out of here. But I want you all to know today that your safety pin, Jesus Christ, is going to hold your life together. Just go ahead and, and worship the Lord throughout the rest of your day, knowing that whatever happens, this is the day that the Lord has made and you will rejoice and be glad in it no matter what happens today. God God is there to help you get through it. You hold on to this word on today. If this has been a blessing to you, you can go ahead and um, uh, donate to our ministry. Our cash app is dollar sign A-L-E-M-0341. That is dollar sign A-L-E-M-0341. I encourage you on today. Just remember that when you start busting at the seams, when your emotions is all out of whack, when things are just not going well for you, when you're thinking about how times could be better, remember, you have a safety pit, and that is Jesus Christ, and he will safely see you through. God bless you all. Have a wonderful remainder of the day. I hope you all make it to your Bible classes on tonight, and see me on tomorrow. I will be back for your lunchtime lifter at one o'clock or somewhere in between, depending on how soon or how quickly I can get out of the job and get set, get out of my office and get set up in my car for our lunchtime lifter at one o'clock. We encourage you to continue to, bless, to pray for us as we do the will of the Lord. And we will be having Bible class at some point this week. It, so we're going to have our lunchtime lifter every day at one o'clock. And... Um, either Wednesday or Thursday night, I will be posting something for our Bible class that evening. So go ahead and have a wonderful remainder of your day. And may the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and give you peace. And may the peace of God rest, rule, and abide in your life throughout the remainder of the day. Have a wonderful day, guys. I love you much. Bye.